Ramblin' Rosie. Ramblin' Rosie. Ramblin' Rosie. She's on the Sanitas Valley Loop Trail. Going towards Mount Sanitas today. What? Silly Susie. She called it Mount Sanitas. She doesn't know how to pronounce Mount Sanitas, does she? Most people call it Mount Sanitas. But just a small percentage, just a few in Boulder, and the, and the old timers know the correct pronunciation is Sanitas. And you're going to learn why those are doing their business. So we're on the road to Wellville, which is a 1994 Anthony Hopkins movie. I know it doesn't make sense right now, but I'll tell you at the end why this is the road to Wellville. It's a 3.6 mile loop. Generally takes most people about two hours. It takes me about two days because I'm so out of shape. But uh, absolutely beautiful. Well-groomed trails. Lots of fun, happy, nice people, beautiful sunshine. One of the biggest challenges of Mount Sanitas is uh, not just that it's a pretty intense trail, especially that way. You're gonna do a lot of climbing, maybe some three-point climbing. Um, but that's not one of the biggest challenges. One of the biggest challenges of Mount Sanitas is the parking. So Boulder is known as the Silicon Valley of natural and organic foods. So many nationally and internationally known, well-known uh, food companies, organic and natural food companies were born here in Boulder. Probably the most famous is Social Seasonings. Then we've got uh, White Wave created silk or soy milk, uh, organic, Horizons Organic, um, Rudy's uh, Bakery, um, Wild Oats Markets, and Justin's Peanut Butter. What? Justin's Peanut Butter? That's crazy. I love Justin's Peanut Butter. That's absolutely amazing. So, but our roots are organic and health roots go back to 1896. So in 1896, a doctor named John Harvey Kellogg um, came to Boulder and he built what was called the sand. It was a resort and spa. It was a sanitarium. It is said that overworked men and overweight women would come and come to the resort to get healthy. And one of the things that John Harvey Kellogg would do, um, well, first of all, I want to say he was from Battle Creek, Michigan. He was with the Seventh-day Adventist Church. So what he would do is he would um, take his patients, which he called guests, and he would um, let them eat their red meat and their coffee. Um, and now that when they did that, they were sitting at the conservative table. And then as they progressed from that, then they could sit at the liberal table where they could eat meat but have no uh, caffeinated uh, beverages, no coffee. Then they would graduate to what was called the Radical Table. And at the Radical Table, they were eating granolas, nuts, fruits, berries, things like that. John Harvey Kellogg created the very first cornflake. And if your stomach is growling right now, your stomach is correct. He is a Kellogg of Kellogg uh, Cereal Company. And he's been a lot of time out here. And he created the sanitarium, the sand, which was just over this hill right here. You can't see it anymore. It doesn't exist. I'll show you the uh, stone walkway that was the, the gateway when uh, John Harvey Kellogg was here. To get people healthy, both mind, body, and soul, he had an enema regimen. He, um, electroshock therapy and hydrotherapy. 
and one of the um, regiments that his guests or his patients would do is he would encourage them to walk the hillsides behind this sanitarium. So hence, that is where we are right now. We are walking on the sand trail. So that is how Mount Sanitus was born. Um, sanitus means health and wellness in Latin. And many, many, many hundreds and thousands of people walk this trail today uh, for their health and their sanity. Uh, so up on the hillside up there, you can see what looks like a quarry. You can see the tailings coming out of the side of the mountain. It's called Sanitus Quarry. It's one of a few quarries here. And it's believed that the stones that came from the quarry are some of the stones that built um, some of the buildings at Sea Wolver. This is the old stone entrance dated 1896 for the San, the sanitarium created by or built by Dr. John Harvey Kellogg. So cool. You can still see it on Mapleton um, as you're walking towards the trailhead. You can still see it and it uh, looks like they're going to keep it. Very cool. Grandma and Rosie's looking for water. Sometimes this is in the spring and the summertime. This is filled with water. Um, she's looking for the water. It's uh, one of the last days of April, 23. There's no water in it yet. But hopefully there will be. Um, there's usually water in the spring and the summer, late fall, la late summer, early fall. It's usually all gone. Um, so, on my tours, both my history and my haunted tours, I take people to the location where the place sanitarium was. Um, the place where it is, it used to be, is reported to be haunted. And you have to take my tours or my history tours to find out where the place sanitarium was. I take you right there and tell you stories. Um, it's the same place where Jesse James stayed in room number 13 when it was a hotel before it became the place sanitarium. I had a nicest woman on my tour last fall, super nice woman. I think her name was Sammy, but I, I can't remember. But anyway, um, she took my tour and we were talking about the sanitarium up on the hill here. The sanitarium, in the 1950s became a Boulder uh, Memorial Hospital and then it became the Mapleton Center. But in the 1950s it, was a, it became a hospital and this wonderful woman who took my tour uh, told me that she used to work at Boulder Memorial Hospital and she said no one wanted to work the night shift because she said at night it was super spooky and they would hear creepy noises that they couldn't explain. So if you want to learn more about creepy things and things you can't explain, you got to take my tours. So there's so many people that I want to thank for um, compiling um, this story. Um, Sylvie Padham again. Thank you so much, Sylvie Padham. I've never met you, but I admire you from afar. Um, Boulder Daily Camera. Uh, the uh, Carnegie Library, uh, the magazine 5280, the American Hiking Society. If I've missed anyone, my sincere apologies. I didn't mean it, but this is a fascinating story. I hope you come up and hike Mount Sanitas. But so happy you guys are with me and little Ramblin' Rosie to the two. Just keep discovering Boulder with Discover Boulder Tours. So when we first started this trek up the sand, Mount Sanitas, I mentioned 
um, road to, I said we were on the road to Wellville and that there was a very rich historical connection to the 1994 movie. Well, that connection is, is that Anthony Hopkins plays John Harvey Kellogg in that movie. And John Harvey Kellogg spent a lot of time here in Boulder. On this very mountain right here, most likely. So, I think I'm gonna take Rosie, get some popcorn, and go home and watch Rosie Melville. See you next time. Alright, thank you so much. Bye.